<laughs> What's up, everybody? OMB, yo. Y'all gotta excuse me, man, because this, yo, it, this had me cracking up. I just thought about it when I first moved down here to Florida. But before I get to that, I appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Now, I want to tell y'all something else. Look. When I get to talking about stories on Cyprus, this is that's when y'all need to be listening because you're getting a good glimpse into the neighborhood where Pistol Pete grew up at. Me. Trust me, although we were kids, man, we had fun. B, we yo, somebody got their heads, their brain blowed out of the street. Two hours later, we back out on the streets, man, playing, doing whatever we was doing as kids, bro. And not even two hours later. Well, it depends. If, if cops is there and they had to, you know, you know, take the body off the street and all this and all that, yada, 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 ambulances. But we was back out there like it was nothing, man. Back to normal life as kids. But anyway, I want to tell y'all this story. When I first came here to Florida, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. It's not as bad as it was, but when I first came here in the 90s, man, yo, there was a stigma about New Yorkers, and I told you, there's a lot of fake New Yorkers who came out here, man, so they gave us a bad rep, and then you had some who came from New York who just had the wrong idea, you know what I'm saying? Most New Yorkers, a true New Yorker, mind their business. We don't, we ain't trying to you know, we are the world with folks, you know what I'm saying? I mean, granted, if they come to us and they cool, we cool with that. But us being all out and, and trying to be aggressive and, and, and up in folks' face, a true New Yorker ain't doing all that. Matter of fact, he nonchalant, you know what I'm saying? He minding this business, he ghost, you, you know what I'm saying? Well, maybe not all but maybe a, a dude who's been been on been, been around you know what i'm saying who's been around on the streets you know what i'm saying that's what a real street dude going to do cuz these dudes are portraying to be street dudes you know what i'm saying and we've seen them all our lives and yeah when they was kids they was wilding out but when they got older enough age man they was chilling bro cuz you know you can't bring attention to yourself like that that's just stupid you know what i'm saying but anyway so this is like 91, 92, right? And and we over in Carver Shores. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, Carver Shores is hood, man. It's off the chisel, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yo, dudes is buckshotting out there, too. Firing off. I was one of them. <laughs> yo, excuse me for laughing, but y'all understand. I was a little, just, just a little, just a, not, not peak kind of, nah, not like that, but enough, you know what I'm saying, although it don't look like it, and that was the good thing, that's the thing that kept me out of a lot of trouble, I ain't look like the type, <laughs> but anyway, I'll check this, um, boom, so there was these, 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 it was like, it was a bunch of kids, and, and it was like a dude, a couple dudes, they were probably like a year or two younger than me. And they just kept mouthing off for no reason. Oh, he from New York. He think he all that. And they kept singing this song. So, and I don't know if... I never heard... I heard a song that was similar to it, but I can't really... You know, it was... I forgot when it was, but it was like... It was like, New York, New York. The city of New York. New York. Because they talk too much. And I was like, the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm coming from hip-hop to, to, to that. <laughs> you know, so... I'm bugging. I'm like... Alright, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of, you know, like, you know, even though I had an attitude, it kind of bugged me out because, you know, I'm in a strange place around people who I don't know. It's a whole different animal. And this went on for about three weeks. That's when I got tired of it, B. And I, and I said something to the kid. Well, not to the kid. I was like. They was about 18, so you're still a kid. I was like two years older than him, like 20, something like that. So, boom. I'm like, yo, man, why y'all keep coming over here with all that? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, don't nobody want, you know what I'm saying? What, am I bothering you? This, that, the third, the other? 
He was like, oh, oh, you, you scared, you this, scared, scared of what, scared of who, what are you talking about, you know what I'm saying, all of a sudden, this big ass dude come hopping over the gate, bro, on the, across the street, animal, bro, animal, ape like, muscle bound dude, I couldn't even understand what he was saying, but I, yo, I'm like 155B, he like 6'4", by, by 230, bro, I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, B, I ain't got no heat or nothing, we need to go about this a different way, this dude could just grab me and toss me anywhere, you know what I'm saying, so, I'm like, yo, dudes, he can't, I stood my ground though, you know what I'm saying? I, I you know, like if it was gonna go down, it was gonna go down, but I stood my ground. And I ain't had no shirt on or nothing. At the time I was, even though I was 155, bro, I was cut the hell up, B. You know what I'm saying? Like worked out 12 pack, damn near 12 pack, you know what I'm saying? Like an eight pack going on, bro. Rip, bro, you know what I'm saying? But so I stood my ground. And I looked at him, I said, yo. What the hell am I supposed to do, man? Just let him go ahead and just talk reckless like that? And then he's like, yeah, what's up? What? What was he saying? So I told him what he was saying. I forgot what the dude was, what the kids were saying, but one of them songs was one of them. But it was something else with that, that that they were saying. I was like, yo, I'm going to stand for mine. Dude understood completely. Still had a little attitude, but... He 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 knew where I was coming from, B. Even though I, I was speaking the way I was speaking when I came. You know what I'm saying? He knew what I was talking about. But, yo, just imagine that, B. You just getting here. And some big-ass animal beast-like dude coming at you, B. <laughs> and I seen him on the basketball court a couple times. He started barking, but... That's all he did was bark, man. Because I stood my ground, B. I, yo, I was not... Yo, do what? You know what I'm saying? Yo, you a big mo, you a big mofo, but yo, B, it, it would have been what it was, but nothing never happened, man. I don't even know what it even happened to do because we stayed in that neighborhood. Yo, man, and for the people that's here in Florida, yo, my aunt was in Carver Shores when there was still empty lots there, B. That's how long we been coming around in Florida. My mom's is from Florida. Her whole family is, so... We got mad fam out here, B, and y y my cousin's still over there in that house. She ain't never left. My aunt did. She went and bought some big joint, two-story, eight-bedroom joint. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yo, I just wanted to tell that story, man, about that beast, bro. I don't, yo, dude was, man, yo, on B signing out. Peace. <laughs>